Okay, so we're going to make a digital dice in this video. This is one of the more simple projects, but it's a good little coding activity um, using random numbers and perhaps some conditionals, depending on how we do the actual program. So we'll do this first bit in the uh, computer so we can see it on the simulator and how it's gonna work. Okay, so we're gonna start off by creating a new project. Just call this one dice. Now. There are a few ways of doing this, um, and obviously you can choose what works for you. Now we're going to build this into a physical, actual uh, model of a dice or a cube. Um, so I'm actually going to use the shake as the way of actually starting this. You could obviously, if you weren't going to do that, you could just use the buttons and you're sort of making a random number generator then. But in a really basic way, what we could start off with is simply to have show number and if we go down to math down here then we've got uh, pick random between 1 and 6. So this is about the most basic this program could be so when you shake the micro bit it's going to show a number between 1 and 6 um, which kind of works I guess as a, as a very basic way of doing this. Um, but we could make this a little bit more advanced um, if we wanted to. So we pull that out of there for now. So for one, we're going to have uh, a clear screen option. So when we turn the screen down, so turn the dice over, then that's going to uh, clear the screen for one. We'll have that, um, which we can't test in our simulator very well because you can't turn this micro bit upside down to do that. Um, for the actual number itself, as I say, you could just do it this way and that would work fine. Um, we could do it in a slightly more advanced way, which I'll show you here, and it's kind of up to you um, if you'd want to do it this way. So we're going to create a variable, we're going to call it number. So this is the value on our dice that it's showing. Um, and then technically, when when you start your program, the value of that will be zero, but I'm just going to put it in the on start just so we can see that at the start. So it's set to zero at the start. Okay, and then we're going to say on shake, what it's going to do is it's going to show I'm going to just make a little loop, so four times it's going to, hang on, these might actually be in the icons. Let's have a look what's in here. Uh, yeah, I wanted like a, mm, that might, actually that'll do. Let's do it this way. So what we'll choose then is that one, that one. Okay, let's see how that looks on the screen. So it does that while you shake it, um, and it does that four times. But when what we want it to do is to number, um, so we want it then to set number to a random, just there. And then what we will say is when logo screen is up so when it's facing upwards I want it to show the number number <laughs> okay so let's just run through this program so what's happening at the start the value of number is set to zero uh, then when we shake it it shows this four times on the screen just while it's being shaken then after that it sets the uh, number value to this then it's going to screen up, it's going to then show us the number. Now, I don't want it to show us the number if the number is only zero still, which means we're just at the start. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put some logic in here. If uh, number equals zero, if number equals zero, Oh, go on, actually, I'll do it the right way around. If number is greater than zero, then show number. Else, which means that the number is zero, then or less than zero, uh, then we'll clear the screen. I don't 
do it this way. It's probably getting ridiculously convoluted for this. Okay, so. All right, so what we can see on here then, we can shake it uh, and it will do this. It's so then gonna set the number, but we can't, oh, we can. It says screen's up, yeah, so that will show the number is two. Um, and then if we shake it again, that's gonna change to that one and then it will show us the new number on there. So let's put it on the micro bit, I think, at this point and see how it looks. It's hard to see in the simulator here. So let's just wire this up, copy it over, see how it looks. So let's pair this. Download it. Okay. Hmm. Screen is up and it's not showing the screen down's working. Screen up uh, it works afterwards. That's not ideal. Yeah, maybe we don't need this screen up then. So let's just go back to the program, set number, and then if. Okay, let's do it that way. Let's just put all that together. Okay, let's download it again, see if that works any better. Okay, so it's blank. Shake it. And it shows you the number. And if you turn it upside down, it's gone. I think four of these is too long. So I'm just gonna change it to, let's try two. All right, let's try again. Oop, I shook it again. Uh, maybe you do need a longer one, so we've managed to shake it beyond, uh, go on, let's do three. Okay, so what we're going to do now then, we've got this together, we're going to start to build this inside um, a little cardboard dice. It shouldn't take us very long to do, um, and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Okay, for the final piece of this then, I've cut this away like this so that we can still actually get a USB cable in if we wanted to change the program. So uh, that might be that you wanted to uh, make it a 12-sided dice perhaps or something else. So um, that's why I've left just this little piece open. I might just need to cut just a little out of here as well for the same purpose. Looks good. Okay, and then the battery holder has been put in here. It could do with just a touch of glue just under it, just to hold it in place. Okay, so there we are complete, I think. So, um, if we look at this one here, so it's blank at the moment. We'll see from the overhead, so when we give it a shake. And then it shows us a number one. We could just shake it again. 
or if we want to clear it off, we turn it upside down, come back and then it's gone. That works pretty cool. And obviously you could change this program to be anything you wanted. So this could be a 25 sided dice. It doesn't really matter. Um, whatever you, sort of random numbers you want it to generate, you could do, um, which is, which is kind of cool. You could program it to work differently. You could program it to show a sequence of numbers maybe when it, uh, it works or do something entirely different. But, um, but yeah, simple, simple little project, this one, but, um, but quite a nice one for understanding a few different concepts uh, with the micro bit.